In this week's harmonica lesson, we are going to be doing the song Ama Lama that we have sung in class and have played the game with on our harmonicas. During this lesson, we're going to review our C major scale. We're going to go ahead and identify what pitches are used in Ama Lama. Then we're going to take some time and actually work through Ama Lama together. And then we'll try to play it from beginning to end as well together. And then the last part is you doing it independently on our music Flipgrid lesson number six. Now, when we are doing this, please make sure that you have the handout that I put in your mailboxes last week. I put it in there. So you should have gotten that page that has all the color pitches on it that says Ama Lama. Please have that in front of you so that you can also write down on the paper if you need to, to make notes, um, to make sure you know what pitches are which and what you play or what number, or do you draw, do you blow, all those sort of stuff. So make sure that you have your paper in front of you so then we can begin. Let's first warm up by playing the C major scale forwards and backwards. Please make sure that you're playing in the correct holes. I had a lot of students this last week in their flip grid assignment when we played the scale that you just went <laughs> That's not the scale, boys and girls. Make sure that you're doing what is asked of you with identifying the holes, blowing air through the hole, or drawing. So again, the air, arrow pointing forward is you, or pointing to the number is you're blowing air into the number and then the arrow coming away from the number or that negative sign is you a drawing air in so let's go ahead and play that c major scale once again starting on hole number four ready one two ready go Now let's go down, starting at that seven. Again, you're blowing air through it. One, two, ready, go. Okay. In Amalama, you only use four pitches from the C major scale. Those pitches are E, G, A, and B. The way that we can identify the pitches in our music is based on the colors, but also too, we want to start to try to get away from colors and identifying where they're located on the musical staff. So noticing that E is on the first line, G is on the second line, A is in the second space, and B is on the third line, right in the middle of the staff. So when we play those pitches, the holes that we use are hole five, six, and seven. We do not use four in this song. You're going to play the E by blowing air through hole five. So let's identify where hole five is. Let's go ahead and play hole five. That's your E. The next pitch is your dark green G, which is hole number six. You're blowing air through number six, and that's how you get your G. And then when you play your A, you draw air through six. So again, I'm breathing in when I draw. And then when it's B, you're gonna go to hole seven and you're going to draw through seven. There we go. So again, you have five, six, Those are the four pitches that you're going to play. Before we start the song, let's just go ahead and sing it once through as a reminder. So again, we did this in class. I think only one of my classes, 3T Group A, have not done it yet. We're going to do it this week in music class. But let's go ahead and sing Ama Lama. So our starting pitch is going to be hole five. Oh, ready and... Ama lama, kuma lama, kuma lama, viste. Oh, no, 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 viste. Ini, mini, gypsy, lini, ua, ua, mi, lini, achi, pachi, kuma, lachi, I mean you. Now, at first, that seems very difficult, um, but it is a, you'll notice in the next slide, it's a lot of repeating pitches. So let's go ahead and sing it again one more time before we try to do it on our harmonica. Ready and Ama lama, kuma lama, kuma lama, viste. Oh, no, 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 viste. Ini, mini, 
Tipsy Leany, ooh ah, ooh ah me Leany, achi pachi kumalachi, I mean you. Okay, let's go ahead and learn it now on our harmonica. Okay, so now let's try to learn this with our harmonicas on Amalama. So we're going to first divide up the song into four parts. So this is going to be our part one. Then we have part two is going to be this section. Part three is actually going to be this whole row. And then part four is the whole bottom row. So let's work part by part. And I encourage you again to please have your paper in front of you because I'm going to ask you to actually go ahead and you will be able to write on your paper what I write on the screen. So let me change my pen a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and make it a little thinner. Um, but I'm still going to keep it red because right now we have no red in the song. Um, so that way it won't be too confusing. And let's go ahead and identify first what the numbers are going to be for each um, pitch that we have on the screen. So for Amalama, the very first four, we're going to have the first numbers are five. So I want you to go ahead and you're going to write five, 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 five. Now next, you'll notice that we have our B, which is going to be the draw seven. So because it's a draw seven, I'm going to also write a minus seven underneath each one. Okay, so I'm doing that now. Great, you should be doing this too. Then we have our purple A. That's going to be your draw six, so your negative six. So I'm going to write negative six. And if you want to be fancy and have like color code your, uh, like have some markers and do this or, you know, circles, I really don't care what you do. Whatever you need to do though to help you be successful with the song. Then we go back to our negative seven. Okay, so we're going to stop there. We're just doing section one first. So if I sang the numbers, it would go five, 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 seven. Seven, 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 six, 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 seven, seven. Yeah, hard to say, but we could do it. And then I'm going to go ahead now and identify the draw and blow. So it's going to go blow, 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 draw, 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 draw. If you notice, that's a lot of draws. So little errors in, otherwise it's going to be really difficult. So nice little errors. So let's go ahead and start with five and let's try it. One, two, ready, go. And notice I drew a little longer on those last two sevens because they're quarter notes, so they are a little longer. Okay, that's part one. Let's do part two. So let's go ahead and identify the numbers. So do this with me. So the first one we have is draw seven. Then we have draw six. Then we have notice this is a six, but it's not a draw. It's a below six. So I'm not going to actually do a um, negative in front of it or a minus sign. Then I have a draw six again. Then a draw seven, draw six blow through six and then we have a five okay so <laughs> if i sang that it would go seven six 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 seven six six five if i do the draw and blow it would be draw draw blow draw 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 blow blow this is probably the most complicated line out of all of them so let's do it twice through so starting with the seven, one, two, ready, and. Let's do it again. And also, I do not expect you to be perfect right now, but I do expect you to be really trying, okay? So starting back at that seven, ready, and. Okay, now part three. 
If you want to go ahead and already start writing in the numbers, go for it. And I'm going to go ahead and write in my numbers. So we first have 5, 5, 5, 5. Then we have draw 7, draw 7, draw 7, draw 7. Then we have our um, draw 6 because that's purple. Great, awesome because that's our A. Then we go back to draw seven. You see what I'm doing. I know this is so exciting what I'm doing. Great. And now if we sing those numbers, it would be five, 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 seven, 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 six, 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 seven, 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 seven. If I sing the draws and blows, it's Blow, 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 draw, 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 draw. And now let's try to play it on our harmonica. So we find the five first and we go. Ready and. If you notice, let me change my um, color pen here for a second. If you notice, Actually, part one is very similar to part two or three. Okay, so part one, there we go. Part three, this is part two, part four down here. The only difference is this rhythm. That's the only difference in part one and part two. Where instead of going six, 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 you're going six, six, six. Okay, so notice that difference when you're practicing. Last but not least, let's look at part number four. Let me switch back my pen to red. Okay, so starting at Achi Pachi, we have, you're gonna do five first. So you have five, 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 five. Draw seven, draw seven, draw seven, draw seven. And then we have draw six, draw seven, and then we blow through five. Okay, so if I sing part four with the numbers, it would go five, 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 seven, 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 six, seven, five. And so notice those are a little longer, the last three, because they're quarter notes. Let's now sing the draws and blows. It would then be draw or blow, 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 draw, 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 blow. So let's do number four together. One, two, ready, and. Okay, let's try the whole entire thing. If you want to pause right here and practice, that might be a good idea before we do it all together. Or if you just want to say, you know what, I just want to wing it. Let's try it. Let's sight read it. Then that's fine too. But again, I want you to practice so that you feel really prepared for when you do your Flipgrid assignment. So let's do the whole thing beginning to end without stopping. If you make a mistake, hey, you make a mistake. It's not going to be perfect. Okay, starting with five. One, two, Ready, go. Okay, there you go. You did it. Let's move on to now what your assignment is. So now go into our Flipgrid, which you should already be there because that's where this video is, and you're going to record yourself playing the song Ama Lama. I am not looking for perfection, but I am looking for effort. So again, I still have a few students that when they're doing their harmonica assignments are just going, Mrs. Shaden, so here's my harmonica. <laughs> That is not what I'm asking you to do. I'm asking you to make 
true music. You can do it. I've had students in the past in third grade been able to do it. I know you can too. So go slow, take your time, have your music in front of you. If you need to write down your pitches, then go for it. And two, if you need the full week to practice and you want to record yourself on Friday instead of Monday or Tuesday, I'm fine with that because I want you to do well. I want you to feel proud of yourself and go, whoa, I did this song. And again, when you do it, please make sure you take your time. It should not be crazy fast. Um, and yeah, okay. Get started. I'll see you on the Flipgrid.